Hey everybody, today I wanted to go over a topic which was the Niagara Skeletal Mesh uh, emission. Um, so as you can see, I am uh, emitting particles uh, using the outline of a skeletal mesh that I have. Um, when I first started trying to do this, I ran into some problems. I searched the internet and I found some other people were having the same issue. So today I'm going to show you how to get this working and uh, show you a couple different ways uh, that, uh, that you can accomplish this. So let's just uh, get right into it. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to create a, uh, a new folder and um, I'm just going to, you know, start over, uh, you know, with our, our demo and uh, just to make this nice and easy. So the first thing we're going to do is So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an emitter uh, in Niagara and uh, to do that uh, new emitter from template say next now be uh, be aware this is the 4.25 version of Unreal Engine. So that's why I think some things changed from previous versions. So that's when I ran into issues. So uh, to start this, I'm just going to pick, um, I'm just going to pick the fountain that seems to be uh, easiest for me. I'm not going to bother renaming it. So, uh, whoops. So here we go. Here's our new emitter. And uh, this is the demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off some of the things that are here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, the velocity and the cone, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the gravity so that it just barely is falling. Almost, almost not falling at all. Um, so right now we have a particle it's generating stuff but it's not in the shape of a mesh and that's what we'd like to do so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to go back um let me drag this to here so i'm going to go back to our content browser and what we're going to do is we're going to create a script so fx what you want to do is create a module script Okay, uh, I'm going to open this up and uh, we're going to turn off some of the flags here. The only one I need uh, are module and spawn. So we don't need this to be available for any of these other items. I'm going to leave the category the same. You can change that if you would like. I'm going to mark it to be exposed for the library. and. Uh, this will be enough if you're not familiar with module scripts you'll see where this comes into play very shortly so the first thing that we're going to do is in order to get your uh, the particle position so in your emitter what we're going to end up doing is putting our script in this particle spawn area and with that you want to be able to set the particle position um, at spawn time so when it spawns we're gonna end up picking a random position on the skin of the mesh that we're going to set up so what you do is um, you come into here you click add um, you can uh, we're gonna create a new parameter and then way down at the bottom here we are going to choose not that Whatever I just picked, that wasn't it. Way down at the bottom, we are going to add a skeletal mesh. Yes, so right here, skeletal mesh. Um, you can name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to call it mesh. Okay. Next thing is... going to drag this out and if you look under skeletal mesh here what we're going to do is we're going to get a random 
triangle. So random triangle. So if you look at your mesh, right, it's made up of uh, uh, all the different vertices. And we're going to grab a triangle that's made up of those vertices. Um, the one thing you'll see here, though, is there's this random info. Um, let me show you. We'll get to that in just a minute. So the next thing you want to do is um, from the mesh, let's go back to skeletal mesh, and you want to do get skinned triangle data world space. You're going to pass the coordinate from the random triangle into here, and this creates a, uh, grabs a random triangle then. So here's the triangle. Now we're going to get all of its uh, attributes. And then in the output, we're going to set the particle position. So here you can go under common particle attributes and it will have particle.position. So here, this is where I'm saying uh, take this position that we just looked up, our random position on the, the mesh of the uh, skeletal mesh and we're going to output it into the particle position. So compile this, apply it, and save, right? Then we go back to our emitter on particle spawn. You're going to see this default. This maps back to our category, right? Also, if you don't see default, you probably forgot to click expose to the library, okay? So make sure you do that. So under particle spawn, we're gonna go to default. And we have two scripts that we created, right? This is the one I did earlier, and this is the new one I did. So I'm gonna pick the new one that I did, okay? And now you see that it is saying this has errors. And the reason it has errors is because no mesh has been assigned for the preview. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick uh, the mesh that I have, it's like a person, and um, the uh, it's just a, a person standing there, and I get a warning, it says the object has warnings, check the object properties, uh, CPU access error, this mesh may need CPU access in order to be used properly, so say fix now, okay? So I fixed it and, um, you know, you kind of may be wondering like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm not getting anything over here, right? Uh, it's not working, this, this should be working and, and I know that there were tutorials out on the internet that had this exact setup and it would work fine. The problem is right here, the random info we're missing the random info. So what you do is, from right here, uh, you drag that out, and you're going to type get random info. And you'll see right at the top here, um, Niagara functions, get random info, get random info. So now this will input the uh, information, this random info structure that is needed. Um, I've played around with a couple of these. You can pass in a different seed. I think you have to set this to true if you want to use an override. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. You can look it up. And this is uh, deterministic or non-deterministic. So I'll just pick deterministic. So let's compile this and apply it. Let's go back to our emitter, and now you see we're actually getting um, some particles spawning in uh, randomly around the mesh, and that's that's pretty cool. So uh, that that makes everybody happy. Although there is another way to do this. So one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to create my particle size. I'm going to make that a little smaller. So right here for the size of the sprite, I'm just going to 
do dynamic inputs, vector 2D from float. This way it makes it even sized uh, on, on the X and the Y just by changing one number, right? So you can go bigger or smaller. So I'm gonna go smaller like this, and then I'm going to crank up the number of particles. So I'm gonna to go to emitter properties, to change it to GPU, okay? It's complaining uh, about fixed bounds missing. So we go up here, set it to fixed bounds, okay? I'm gonna turn the bounds back off. Now uh, with the GPU enabled, I'm gonna crank up the spawn rate much higher. So we'll go to um, 900. We'll do a couple thousand. So th this is looking, uh, you know, really neat. I like I like the look of that. But let me show you the other way to get this exact same effect, but not writing the the custom module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the sphere location here. That was just left over. That was uh, getting overridden anyway. I'm going to delete our Niagara script. Okay. And now uh, you see all of our particles are down here. Unreal Engine now comes with the skeletal mesh. So if you go to location, you have all these different types of location uh, modules. And we're gonna pick the skeletal mesh location, okay? So when you pick it, again, it's complaining we don't have a uh, preview mesh. So we'll do this. So I picked it and now you see that it's not exactly what I was looking for. It looks more like the skeleton outline than it does the, the mesh outline. And all that you have to do is come down here and pick the mesh sampling type. So this module has a lot of capability to just choose either the bones or sockets. Um, I don't think this mesh has any sockets, which is probably why it's choosing that down there. You can pick the skeleton bone and sockets, but we want is surface triangles. So surface triangles, this is exactly what we did in our script previously, if you remember, right here, get skin data world space. So this is the skin, so it's on the surface, right? And um, that's it. That, that's how you do this. It's pretty simple. Um, you can change up the renderer. You can, you know, add in all sorts of uh, forces. You know, just for fun, we could add in like a uh, curl noise force. How about that? Move it up above the solver. So now you get this really cool effect where the... Uh, it's blowing the particles all around. We can crank up the, uh, eh, maybe not that high. Eh, maybe not that high. But anyway, you can kind of get the idea. So um, really, really cool stuff. I hope that you found this helpful. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please uh, drop a subscribe. Uh, come back for more. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down in the comments. Thanks, have a good day and a safe day. Take care, bye.